Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll try to explore ambient occlusion in the generators uh, section. So here I've got a, a sample file which is basically available in the substance painter itself. So I've, I've created this uh, brass rust on it and uh, I just wanted to show you how this all has been created. So we have created a few layers, I'm deleting them and this is how uh, the default uh, file looks like. This is jade toad which is uh, basically a jade material which has got the triple S shading in it. and. Um, it has got that randomness in the colors what you are able to see right now so uh, to start with i would like to add a new layer uh, here and then just put some dirt color okay like that make sure that it's quite desaturated and then i'm going to make it rough okay so this is what uh, this uh, uh, model looks like now now what I'm going to do is uh, I will just uh, uh, go to this uh, layer mask before going into that you can maybe add a lot of other uh, layers into it noises and all okay um, I just choose the multiply and then reduce the opacity should be able to see that nice dirt uh, here I've just created with two uh, fill layers blending with each other and that's a simple fill what you have got okay now I just wanted uh, to add a mask to this just click that white mask here okay and uh, white mask I'll add a generator called uh, so first I'll add a generator and then again I just go and add something called ambient occlusion okay so when I add that you should able to see the gaps here which are basically the contact shadows are becoming transparent and the rest of the thing is opaque so if I click this option called uh, invert you should able to see that became reverse and you are able to see the dirt in the edges here so it's a great way to bring the dirt and then we have global balance and then you can increase that dirt and then increase the contrast and then may maybe you can explore more on this so we have ambient occlusion balance you can generally play with that okay and also you can blur it if you wanted them to be so yeah so far looks good so it's like any normal ambient occlusion you have so this is a global setting and it is specifically in the ambient occlusion you can play with that here okay so you have all these settings here so i just uh, uh, close it and then add a generator and then try once again with just global inverse and then try to increase this and you should able to see that nice uh, dirt in the edges here it looks really nice okay now we have uh, uh, two options below this which is basically called uh, use texture and use macro details so I'll just go to the macro details here uh, which is basically asking either of normal map or a height map 
so if you have a normal map click there and then just bring your normal map so i'm just choosing this flakes normal map and you should be able to see that uh, uh, the map which was actually having the details showing up that dirt in the cavity areas there okay uh, so this layer uh, is normal in it okay i just try to bring up the height uh, i can just uh, bring the height to negative and you should be able to see that dirt is throughout the model and if you feel this uh, is too strong you can always play with the opacity and it looks really nice at this level okay so we have this normal texture used here uh, i'll just close that and uh, let me try using the height which is a simple black and white image so we have lots of textures here we have cells okay so i'm using this uh, cells texture and you should able to see that cracks on the model okay and then if i just uh, open okay it doesn't have the parameters here for the height let me open the macro details okay so height is uh, here we can switch it on on off so keep exploring more such textures here so we have uh, uh, the black and white spots okay so i'll be using this you have some procedural textures also you can use them as well Oops, some patterns i would rather say we have some noise texture it looks really nice like a um lathe ma machine yeah, grooves with the direction that's really nice okay we have fur mm, doesn't look great plasma okay so we have uh, used this macro details now let me try with the texture details okay so we can just open the texture input here and then use very similar textures what we have uh, used earlier so we have this opacity i need to increase that and you should able to see this uh, ambient occlusion which we have achieved has got texture in it and then i'm going to increase that repeats and you should see that uh, gaps so this texture opacity by which the the texture starts visible here and then here you can try exploring various uh textures here okay so uh, for better visibility you can maybe increase the height so that you could able to see the difference okay 
so let me just select the ambient occlusion here and then we have inverse of it and it's showing up really nice you can randomize this texture anytime and um, the only thing is you need to keep uh, exploring different textures and you don't know which texture may look how so it's good to uh, play with these textures and see what is really working for it so spending time on this is really important you know how this grunge looks like you know how gaussian or pearly noise looks like but you really don't know how it may generally turn it turn uh, into the result so it's very important for exploring the uh, details okay so let me try uh, seeing something else you have used texture option which we are using right now you have macros which again uh, we can go to the macro details uh, you have normal and height so in height we can go and connect the directional one so you have both uh, things working here okay On the uh, on the whole, you can select this layer and then you can play with the opacity, how how much you just wanted that to be visible. Okay. Now what I will do is I'll add another layer on top of it, which is going to be the brass. Okay. I'm going to select the height. Okay. Um. Height and then just put that height to normal, and make sure that the height layer is on let's see if the linear dodge how is it visible okay uh, let's take it uh, to a slightly dark color and then more onto the reddish side and then just make this uh, to rough okay which i generally wanted here so you should able to see here this one has got a fill so i'll do very similar thing what i have done which is uh, going to be adding some color and then again add another fill and then in that fill we will add a grunge texture okay and then okay this texture has some strong pattern so let me keep it normal and then just uh, make this uh, to multiply and then reduce opacity you can try exploring different uh, blending modes and see what's really working In fact, mul multiply was uh, what I was looking on. I can try playing with opacity. And then bring up the color a little bit. So that gives that nice uh, variation over the material. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new fill. And uh, this one uh, will have that nice blue color okay and i'm not going to use the let me put it slightly dark and then just make it rough completely okay uh, it looks good now i'm going to put a layer mask and in layer mask i'm going to add a generator and in generator i'll add ambient occlusion and then put this reverse and you should able to see that nice bluish tint okay which you generally see in the 
um, brass uh, objects okay which are generally kept for days together and you get that aging effect and then we use the texture here so we connect the texture which is again uh, going to be a, a, a grunge and then uh, increase the opacity uh, sorry I don't want this to be in the texture I'll be using this in the macros and then see okay I should use the grunge only and then you can explore the opacity of it You can hit this random button it will randomly throw different attributes okay so you could able to see that nice details here again you can select this layer and then play with the opacity and uh, this is what you get you can just explore this in the rendering section and then see how is it going to turn out and you should able to see that nice character to this whole model and always uh, you have a chance to play with the values and the look and feel of that so this is only an idea to explain the ambient uh, occlusion there in the generator section.